hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to make a login system in asp.net okay so guys in previous video we have seen that how to get started with the registration system and we have completed and now guys we will begin with login page so guys now let's get started so make sure you are having a login.aspx file if you don't have please create it just right click on your project add and add new item from here move to your web and here you will get your web form just rename the file as login and click to add so once you add the page will be created something like this so guys now let's design a simple login page okay so let's remove all this let's search what table I want to HTML table and paste. So guys, we are getting three columns and three rows. Let's get a label. Now guys, let's go to its property and rename it. So, and let's increase its size. So here, let's make it to 24 and make it bold true that's it let's align this in a center okay done and now guys we need one more few columns so let's copy and paste let's get an input field i mean text box so select your standard text box from here paste let's copy this and paste for the password let's get one label to show that it's an email or a password let's move to property and select as email id so guys now let's take one more label just click and drag and rename this as a password done now let's select this both labels and move to your right so justify right all set let's copy one more row guys Control cv and create one button so let's select the button from the you're going to select the standard button paste let's rename this button as login now if you want to change the background color for this you can just select here and move with the green okay want the four color select the white all set save and now guys let's see the output of this page so let's debug the project okay it's loading okay so the login is page the login page is created guys and now if you want to make this in center you can just align with the adjustment but let's stop this project now let me just increase the input field size let's save refresh here we go so now guys let's begin with the backend coding for login system okay so let's double click on this button so you can find that button one click but i don't want this to be as button one click let's make it to login button so let's remove this function from here and let's go back to again button and rename this button name okay so let's go to its property and at the last you'll find that the button as button okay hit enter so now let's double click on this you can see that login button click its return 
okay so now guys you are going to start with the database thing so let's create a variable con as new sql connection connection okay it's not importing so you have to import the class import system dot data dot sql client all set and now this will work fine let's create the second variable that is command as new sql command and one more variable which i want as a data reader so just create as dr that will be our sql data reader we are using this for the login purpose okay so now let's give a connection string first double quotes so let's give the connection string let's move to our project and here is our database and let's open this perfect so it's open here our server explorer and from here you can select your database connection string so select this database and here is your connection string double click copy and paste let's remove that extra double quote from this connection string all set and now guys you can open the connection let's open the connection and at last we want to connection close and in between this we are going to start so first let's check that the input fields are empty or not so if then else and if so first guys you need to check out your email dot text is double equal to if it is null means you're going to show or your password dot text is double equal to null okay so this email and password name should be matching from your input field name so let's go to a login form this is our input field so let's see its name okay it's given text box one so instead of text box one we have to make it as email and this email only we are going to paste in the back end and this second input will be the password done so this password and email values are going to check over here okay it should not be empty if it is empty you are going to show the message as message box where inside double quotes will mention all fields are which will be message box style dot information comma let's give as this will be your warning okay let's save if in case your input fields are correct okay all the things are working fine then you will come here and start with your query so command dot connection is equal to that will be the con done and from here your command dot your command text so command text means we will type the query over here inside double quotes let's type the query select star from what you are going to select the data from our users table so which we have created in the part 2 and in the part 3 we registered it and now we are going to log in with this users table so let's assign that user table name and give a where condition where we are going to check the column fields so inside that i want to check with the email and password so you can find that email and password two fields so email is equal to inside single quotes again inside double quotes you are going to inside and and then same way guys you are going to check with the password so let's copy this and tell and over here and paste this all set and the text box field name that is your password so yep so now guys this password 
belongs to the user table of password okay so let's make this password save and now guys let's execute this command so you just need to use your variable dr so let's copy this dr variable your command dot execute reader so this will this data will execute your command done so now guys let's write the if condition if then else and if all set so over here you will give that message box before giving the message you need to check if this has a row your data reader dot has any data then you are going to come in and tell that logged in successfully with the message message box style dot information comma where you will mention as success so once it's success means you are going to return and redirect to your home page so let's give that a response dot redirect open and close bracket in double quotes you are going to type home dot aspx so guys make sure you are having this page i have already created a home dot aspx form okay so if you don't have please create the form and just connect that and then let's continue coding so guys once if the data is not there then what you're going to check you will mention it as invalid email id or password all set so guys let's save this and here you can give this as error let's save so yep guys and now let's execute this and test it let's save and save all let's run debug the project okay so now what is the data i don't know let's go to our user table and inside this user table let's show table data okay i have these two records let me just copy that and here is the password let's click directly and see whether it's validating or not so i have not entered the email id or password all fields are mandatory perfect you are getting the correct output let's give the email and i will give wrong password okay one two three four let's click login and here you are getting message as invalid email id or password and now guys let's okay it's redirected to home page why let's check here let's close this move to your okay invalid okay we have given that home.asp i think we don't require this guys so let's remove this we just want to show the message that it's invalid and stay back on the login page so guys now let's save and let's debug the project okay and now guys let's click directly on login without entering any data let's click login all fields are mandatory perfect let's enter the email and i am going to enter wrong password let's click login now you can get the message as invalid email id or password with error okay so let's try to enter correct password and click login logged in successfully and you'll be redirected to home page perfect so guys in this video we have learned how to make a login system in asp.net so guys let's see in next video how to make our category and products types so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share